make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade and help me get to that 2K mark. We're well on our way, everyone. Um, shout out to everybody that chimed in. But anyway, today uh, we're going to do something I haven't done in over a year, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to do a Play-Doh's flip. And what I mean by Play-Doh's flip is that I have some clothing and, um, you know, I think one or two pairs of sneakers in this bag that I'm going to try to uh, get a few bucks off of. Um, not really, you know, something that would upload to Shopify, anything like that. I don't, I don't think the... The products will move and um if you know my history with sneaker youtube you know i've done this several times in the past and i'll use that money to um split the difference on the shoe so i don't pay full price out of pocket so i'll apply my military discount and whatever i got from plato's to drive the cost of the shoe down so there's less of a financial impact if you will um to me on the pricing so um I always talk about my my target that I'm going for. This stuff right here, if I get about $35 from these items, we're doing well. We're doing well. Now, what will I cop from this? I don't know. Like we said, March is the month of um, not so great releases. Only thing that's coming out this weekend is the... Uh, the Jordan ones, the um, the Phantom joints, white and red. And to speak about that sneaker, ever since Virgil has been working with Nike, Nike has been taking concepts from the uh, the 10 series that he came up with. You know, the lettering on the shoe, the scripting, things like that, the uh, deconstructed, the um, exposed stitching thing, has been all of the rig since then. And um, they, they actually infuse this on the sneaker. We saw it on the uh, turbo greens. We saw it on the neutral grays. Um, we saw it on the not for resale. Um, also Union even has the stitching on there, which I don't really get that release right there. I don't know why people are hyping that up just because it was a collaboration. It was nothing special about those sneakers unless you're just a hype beast and you want to sell those when i saw them i was like mm, you know eh, yeah cool nice you know just put a little stitching on there and you know a little writing cool all right we got a collaboration sneaker that's how i feel a lot of times about these collaborations unless it's a a whole brand new silhouette that has been um dropped for this I hope I'm going the right way, because if not, I gotta go all the way around. And um, yeah, I am. I am. Always miss this area. I actually frequent this area quite a bit a few months ago. And um, as of late, I have no need to come to this area anymore. But um, I actually need to get in and get out because the traffic gets really bad. I got a bit of a late start today. Got up late, because I went to bed late. And, um, yeah, there's also a Ross near here as well. I've kind of gotten away from the whole Ross and Marshalls thing because I haven't found anything. It's been quite some time since I've went to uh, Ross and Marshalls and actually found anything of note. Um, even like stuff for like my daughter or just a gift or things like that for someone. I found like a cool pair of Air Max for like $30, $40 a like year, you know? You would like these, you know? You're welcome. I, I literally haven't found anything for anyone else. So, um, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Like I said, uh... Haven't seen these in a while, some Fusion Force 5s. So I did the uh, Play-Dohs drop. And um, it's taking me about an hour 
this particular one is uh, pretty quick compared to the one that's closer to me. And uh, we're gonna see on the board what they say they were looking for. And sometimes they tell you they're looking for these items. They just said they were looking for skinny jeans for men. I didn't have any skinny jeans because I really don't wear skinny jeans. <laughs> we'll see if they take those jeans that I offered them. And um, I know they should take those sneakers that I threw in there because as you can see, the um, the sneakers are hurting, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna head to Ingram Park Mall. I have a t-shirt that I mentioned in my previous video that, wow, it was almost an accident. All right, so I just left Play-Dohs. And um, long story short, they didn't take everything. And uh, I, I wasn't even thinking, man. So what I'm gonna do is take these to another location. I do that from time to time. So uh, I'm gonna get about um, God dang it! I should have went right there. What was I thinking? That was a turnaround right there. <sighs> I gotta deal with this track anyway. Um, I got forty dollars off that, so. use that to cop a pair of kicks but I'm not going to vlog it because it's kind of pointless um there is a shoe that I want to check up on just to, to get some some good information for you guys so you've been um objective when you make your purchase and you guys a good look at this particular shoe that's coming out in the very very near future and uh, I know the shirt's going to be here because nobody's rocking this out here. Alright, so, so we got this early look on these ones right here, man. And um, like I mentioned in the car, you know, the whole Virgil influence is all over the shoe, man. But quality's good. You know, quality's good, man. You don't like the outline stitch and stuff? No? Yeah. I actually like these now. I... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, one thing I don't like, and I know they start to abuse this, is this uh, exaggerated tumble leather effect they got. This crumpled look. I'm, I'm not feeling it. They're starting to use it a whole lot. But otherwise, uh, the colorway is dope. I, I like this sneaker. It's sale. The sole is sale. Um, yeah. Yeah. But they first come, first serve, right? Um, hold the shoe, hold the shoe. I'd be, I'm on my way to pick them up, and um, I want to pay 160. I didn't want to pay 129. I didn't want to pay a hundred dollars for them. Period. But after I saw the price on them and the price match, sneakers that I would not have purchased earlier in the year for that price, and that's what March is for. I think last year I did this before too. But I also wind up copping my um, cement threes with a super, super low. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is part of the game. Hey, it's me, Blue Kicks. Back with me. What's up, YouTube? What's going on? This is Blue Kicks. Back with me.